welcome back to my channel this is Mary with resin me up for those of you that are new to my channel and I really need to get into the habit of telling you who I am um, today we're gonna do something really little <laughs> I've had this mold for a while and um, haven't really done thought about what I was gonna do with it but today we are going to make this little tiny dish and it's about the size of my hand. Um, we're going to do it in polyurethane. And so I'm going to just jump right into it. I'm going to get my polyurethane mixed up. S excuse my fingernails, you guys. I've been working with so much black resin here lately that my nails are just, yeah. <laughs> um, so... I'm just going to mix up my polyurethane, get it mixed, and we're going to pour it in there. And then when it's cured, I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. All right? If that intrigues you, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. I just decided that since I have some new people in on my channel that I would mix this on camera. Um... I also wanted to let everyone who's not new to my channel that Let's Resin has changed the bottles. Um, they are now black. They used to be clear. Um, this is what they used to look like. So they have changed the bottles. They're now black. So just an FYI. Now for those of you that are new, you mix this one to one. Uh, by volume you don't have to mix it and I use uh, separate containers for all my stuff so that I don't have any cross contamination so I have special cups for my PU set that aside and when I first get new jugs I always have to use a pipette because they're so full that I end up spilling and that's why my first batch was, um, I ran out so quickly because I kept spilling it. Because the, the jar doesn't have a pour spout on it, and so it makes it hard to pour out of the jug. So let's resin, if you're listening, put pour spouts on these. They're too hard to pour out of. And holding it up in the air is too hard because then you have inaccurate measuring. And usually when I'm doing polyurethane, it's a small amount anyway. And so. And so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mix up 20 of part A and 20 of part B, MLs. So there's my 20 of part B. Now, um, in order to do this, you have to use different pipettes for both, okay? Because otherwise your pipette will cure on you and then you'll be in trouble okay there's part B I'll set that aside now if you wanted to mix something into your uh, polyurethane which your polyurethane is going to turn white so you really have to think about what you're going to mix in your polyurethane because it will be white because whatever you're going to mix in it is probably not going to show up. But if you want to venture in that area, then you would mix it into one of these, A or B. Generally, you mix it into A. All right. And I, I just squeeze my pipette out so that 
when I throw it away, there's no, and I wipe it. And then I wipe my hands off. All right, make sure you close your jars. I try to wipe the rims off just because I don't want any overspill to come off the sides and onto my counter and all that good stuff. Put your lid back on. Check my hands to make sure I don't have anything on them. Throw the paper towel away. And A, B. Get your stir stick ready because you've got to stir quickly. Stir stick. And you pour your B into A, A into B. It doesn't really matter. And you don't have very long to mix. Just enough time to get that out of that container and you start stirring. And then you can feel it in your hands when it starts to get warm. And you want to get to pouring as soon as you can. And it's getting warm, so it's time to pour. And I'm going to pour. Hopefully I mixed up enough. I mixed up too much. So that means I have to get a mold here. Grab one. I just grab whatever's close. All right, guys, 10 minutes. I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. I think this is ready. Let's see if we can get it out of here. Because I've, this is a brand new mold, so. This could be a nice little challenge. And that is shop. Thing it's still a little bendy. Goodness. And we can just bend it back. Perfect. Cute little dish. This one's higher than the other. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it sits anyway. Cute. Nice and shiny. I love polyurethane. It's just so wonderful. It's shiny. And I'll file on those so that actually I can probably use my deburring tool. Yep, because it's still soft. It's the best way to do it. Take that edge off. Now it's not sharp anymore. Okay, what we're going to do next on this, my fan keeps blowing all these little pieces away. 
Um, he is. I got these very, very cute little stickers a while back. And I thought that that blue one would look fantastic -y inside of there. I think the rest of them are too big. Yeah, they're all, other ones are all too big. So, I thought I would use this blue one right down inside there. I'll cut that off right there. Grab my skizzers. And we'll just cut right around so you can't even tell that those even were on there. Just like that. Ain't that cute? I do love the leaves though. I wonder if I could use the leaves on the sides. Just like that. And I may not be able to use them, but I can sure save them for another project if I can't. Let's get the leaves down first. All right, let me get these cut out and I'll be right back. Okay, got them all cut out. So I need to cut this one just a tad closer. The less plastic you have on it, the better. All right. And the reason it doesn't work is because the tape is so sticky. Okay, there's the flower. Get back your stick. And you don't want to touch them because because that's where the if you get touch them, then the sticky won't stick. this okay. oh guys my hair <laughs> Hey guys, I am so sorry. My hair got stuck on the um, the uh, clamp for my cell phone holder, and it literally pulled um, <laughs> the cell phone thing the other direction. It disconnected everything, and I am so sorry. I seriously need to get a haircut because my uh, hair is so long that when I put it in a bun it's so big and it just clunks into everything and oh my goodness I apologize I apologize I apologize I am so sorry so it shut the video off and um, anyway gosh Lord that's why I wear a hat a lot because it 
kind of gets it out of the way. But anyway, I got it on here. I don't I don't know where it shut off, but I got it on here and anyway, the best thing to use when you're putting stickers on something is one of these tools and it's what nail technicians use and it's an angled silicone tool and you just basically rub it on there and it pushes out any bubbles if there are any and smooths it out and so that's what I was doing and I looked up and the screen was back on my end screen for my camera so anyway so there's my little dish now I thought about making an edge on this um, with my silver just to give it a little more pizzazz because it's so cute. Let's see, I think I'll use my small one. Shake it over here so it's not so loud. I was going to use gold, but then it's reflecting a lot of silver, so. Be very, very careful. I'm going to set this down, guys. It's just easier for me to do it that way. mud right there. This polyurethane is so slick. I give up. <laughs> Jeez. Try going at it the other direction. Let's see if that helps. Jeez. Guess it doesn't, huh? Oh. 
spot over here where I went off the rails. It seems to come off pretty good on this all year thing. All right, what do you guys think? That is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Do you love it? I love it. Reminds me of something my grandma would have on her dresser with little trinkets or rings or something in it. I don't have anything to put in it, but I love it. What do you guys think? Isn't that the cutest little dish you've ever seen? Just adorbs. All right, guys. It's my project for today. I know it was something very simple, but sometimes you just got to do something simple. And this was it. Got a little bit of smudge right there. Okay, guys. If you like it, hit that like button. And if you want to share it, share it. And by all means, uh, comment, tell me what you think. If there's anything you would do different. Love to hear the feedback. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And by doing all of that, you push this video out into YouTube land. And I appreciate the support. So it helps my channel grow. So on to the next video, y'all. Thanks for your support. Love y'all. Bye. See you on the next video.